I'm Mike Stish. I'm with Hackaday.com, and I'm here with Jason Kreidner. He's known for BeagleBoard.org. Jason, what's going on with BeagleBoard these days? Yeah, well, a whole lot's going on with BeagleBoard. Um, uh, we're participating in a Google Summer of Code this summer. So I don't know if you're familiar with Google Summer of Code, but it's a, a program where, where Google pays students uh, to work on the sum, over the summer on open source software. And so BeagleBoard.org is um, one of the mentoring organizations uh, for Google Summer of Code. And we have um, six students that are currently producing open source projects um, that will work um, on the on the, the BeagleBone Black, um, but they also work on other platforms too. A lot of them are done like Linux and can be used in other platforms. But a few of the projects are working with something that's kind of unique to the the BeagleBone Black, which is the uh, the PRUs or programmable real time units. Right. Um, so I don't know if you know much about the BeagleBone Black, but there's um, in addition to like the main gigahertz um, Cortex A processor mm -hmm. that runs Linux, there's actually a couple of 32 bit microcontrollers on there that those those each run at 200 megahertz themselves. Um, and they're 32 bits, so they're, they're pretty fast microcontrollers. And they have direct single cycle access to a bunch of the, the I.O. pins. And they have um, uh, direct access to like all the internal peripherals that the A8 has and, okay. and the external memory. So And are those asynchronous? They're completely, yeah, they're asynchronous and they're unused. So they're okay. just open for, for other people to just write their own code on. And, and people have even written a, there's, there's pretty new, somebody's created a GCC. C compiler. So TI has released a C compiler as an open source assembler, and now somebody's got a GCC compiler for it as well. And there's Linux drivers. So, and, and people that are coming from the microcontroller world and kind of stepping up and it's like, hey, I want to do Linux, I want to do higher level languages like Python and Ruby and Perl and JavaScript and do all these other things. But it's like, well, all this stuff takes me away from real time. Well, you've got really fast microcontrollers on right. here too, so you don't you don't have to give up the real time just because you decide to play with the BeagleBone and for Linux stuff. So I'm just starting to get into the BeagleBoard, and the PRUs are of interest to me. Um, can you tell me, uh, are you programming the PRUs from the BeagleBoard itself, or are you programming yeah. it from a different uh, computer? Yeah, you you, you uh, the, there's actually an uh, open source assembler uh, for the PRUs that ships on the. Um, the BeagleBone Debian software image. So, so you actually just run all the tools directly on the board, and you can install the GCC compiler or the TI mm -hmm. compiler. Um, there's versions that run on the board itself. So you just run all the tools right there on the board using that uh, that ARM Cortex A8 processor. That's the the main processor running Linux. But you just have those other processors. It's kind of like you're hooking up an external microcontroller sure. to it. Um, but here, because it's not external. You, know, you have direct access to the internal memory. You have direct access to all the internal peripherals. Um, you would never have that in an external microcontroller. Right. Yeah. Now, um, I'm interested in the Google Summer of Code and how that works. You said you have six students um, participating. Um, are they participating locally, or is that uh, over oh, the internet? Yeah, they're all over the world. So, um, yeah, they're absolutely all over the world. So we have uh, folks in, in Spain, uh, folks in uh, South mm -hmm. America, folks in India. Um, and mentors are also from all over, around the world, from Australia, from, from, from Europe, um, from the United States. Um, so it, it really gets us, it, it makes for interesting times for, for meetings. So we do a lot of virtual meetings online with either Google Hangouts or with um, IRC. And we meet each other a few times a week and we make sure the students are progressing. And you know, they, you know, they only get paid if they, uh, if they write good code. So. Oh, that's great. Are the, students, are the students kind of um, guiding their own, their own experience, or do you have a set of goals that you posted for? Um, so the, the students write their own proposals um, for what they want to do. We, we put up a bunch of ideas, um, so all the, the potential mentors and people in the BeagleBoard our community uh, put up ideas for what they'd like to see people um, students go and execute. And then the students ultimately write their own proposals, their own schedules about what they're going to do, and, and, and they come back. Um, and, and then we choose which proposals that we like the best. And we don't do that um, just kind of blindly based on what they've written. We make them do some code challenges to make sure they can actually write some code. Um, we make them, uh, we, we have some interactions between them and other mentors to make sure they have mentor feedback and they, they can have some of the interpersonal skills as well before we pick them. Well, that's great. Now, I think we're probably torturing people a little bit because um, you've got a wonderful piece of hardware yes, that you've been waving yes. around. What do you have here? Um, so this is a, this is a Beagle Mon Black. I've just got in a, a logic supply case and a little uh, a little um, a breadboard a prototyping board. But this is actually a hundred megahertz fourteen channel logic analyzer uh, <laughs> using a one of the Google Summer of Code projects uh, called Beagle Logic. Okay. Um, so it's using the the, the, the two PRUs. It's up using both of them. Uh, to sample the the pins at 100 megahertz, and then it actually just shows up as a file uh, under Linux, 
and you can just grab that file. You see, you allocate how much memory. So you can, um, so I know he's captured over a gigabyte of samples. Wow. Um, at a time, um, running at 100 megahertz um, on, on this. So. And with the file that you capture, um, what do you, how do you view that file? How do you look um, there's at the a, data? There's an open source application called SIGROC, okay. S-I-G-R-O-K. And you can run SIGROC on the, the BeagleBone Black itself, or you can you know, run SIGROC on your, your, your other computers and just move the data over. Um, so he submitted patches to the upstream SIGROC project. So all of this code is done you know, in completely open source fashion. Right? He submits his, his Linux kernel patches. He submits his, his PRU code to, to GitHub. And he, you know, and he sends patches to the SIGROC project upstream too, right? So, you know, we're, we're just, I mean, that's, that's really what BeagleBoard is about, is right, trying to enable people to, to advance the state of open source software. And um, that's why this Google Summer of Code projects are they're perfect for that. Now, if people want to hear more about this, where can they go? Um, they can always visit BeagleBoard.org slash GSOC for Google Summer of Code, and they can find out a list of the different projects there. Um, and, of course, just general information about the, the BeagleBone Black, they can find it at BeagleBoard.org. Great. Well, thank you so much for a shot talking to us Thanks, today. Mike. Appreciate it.